Adapting cropping techniques to make the most of every last drop of rain has been the focus of a five-year row spacing project hosted by Yarrawonga grower Adam Inchbold. Run in conjunction with John Seidel from Agricultural Research Services, Nick Poole from New Zealand's Foundation of Arable Research, and grower group Riverine Plains, the project has been looking at the water use efficiency of wheat and canola crops in a stubble retained system. In, in the plots that we've been looking at today, we've got two row spacings, a 9 inch and a 15 inch, and we've got um, the same amount of nitrogen applied across all plots, but um, at different timings. So, so um, one of the treatments was all its, all its seeding, all its Z31, half its seeding and half its Z31. The project is part of the Grains Research and Development Corporation's Water Use Efficiency Initiative, which brings together growers, farming systems groups and researchers from across Australia. We found a strong influence of a reduction in water use efficiency as the row spacing has got wider, even in the presence of stubble. Mr Inchbold found that wider row spacings increase plant density within seeding rows and this has been linked to reduced water use efficiency and a decline in crop yield. Wider rows have been probably reasonably broadly adopted in the last few years and the main benefit is that you can get through more stubble. So if you wanted to have a full stubble retention system, an easy thing to do has been to, get, to have wider row spacings. You can also go faster at, at seeding time and um, I think it would, you would say that it helps with your pre-emergent chemicals. So. In saying that narrow rows have a high water use efficiency, we're also um, accepting that there are some challenges with narrow rows. So my advice would be two, twofold really, to not just look to go wider and wider and wider to get through stubble. I'd be saying um, there are other ways that we can get through stubble and we should be looking at them because the, the results have been so conclusive that there's quite a, it's clear that there's quite a significant penalty to going wider wider and wider rows.